Ovas is a system that really is known in uh, the United States and in England, for example, and it has to do with uh, offering a program for talented students. And what uh, the criteria that really have been set in Ovas are um, that um, you should have at least an international environment. Um, there have to be uh, research skills in uh, in the course of study. Uh, the character must be multidisciplinary, so you have to work with different uh, groups or, or look at problems from different angles. Partners of industry must be involved, and there must be a high level of challenges for the students as well. So honors is for uh, talented and ambitious students who can handle more workloads than uh, a regular bachelor student. We offer uh, yeah, we offer more and more in-depth content, so they should be able to show that. So HIT is an honors bachelor and that's really special because all other uh, courses of study within the Hansa offer uh, honors programs but we are really an honors bachelor so that means that for the full four years of our bachelor we are offering an honors program. Um, and that means that all our students are special. They do more for their credits, they work harder, they well, do more uh, in-depth um, projects for their credits. And well, it's really what makes HIT special. The Honors Design Challenge is a seminar organized by the students of Hanse Institute of Technology. The seminar is open for students or honor students within the Hanse. The goal of the seminar is to solve problems in our society with the application of sense of technology. In this seminar, students are given the task to design a product with the application of Kinect Sensor. We have a partner company which is Divine and it's a company responsible for interface. My role as the project leader of this seminar was to delegate tasks to monitor progress of the seminar and ensuring a successful seminar was given to our participants. I've been able to uh, gain a lot of experience in this seminar, which has built my leadership skills. The LEGO League is a competition in which primary and secondary school children design a robot to fulfill certain tasks. These tasks are combined or based on a certain subject like health or food. Last year we had the region final from the LEGO League and we had 24 teams participating. My task for the first LEGO League was to find sponsorships because we need different prizes, key cords, uh, we need to support the location in order to make the competition successful. I think the first LEGO League is a great way to motivate primary and secondary school kids to think about technology and their future. My honor assignment was the act uh, It was an assignment given to us by NAM. It was in honor of 15th year anniversary of the first man into space. Uh, it's a workshop uh, for uh, high school students in the range of 12 to 16 years old. Uh, and it's to get them interested into science and technology. The act is a sensor platform. It uses sensors, uh, four sensors, to measure the impact. The, the students had to build a protection around the egg, uh, which not only uh, keeps the egg intact, but also reduces the impact as much as possible. And then the group uh, with the lowest impact wins. Uh, I enjoyed this assignment a lot, um, mainly because uh, the, the building, the designing, uh, the testing, uh, but also a big part was the social contact with the students, uh, which was really rewarding because I really enjoyed it. There was this team uh, and they made this cone-like shape um, with the egg on top uh, and it really looked like a nice design and, but when we dropped it, it turned around and the egg went heads on into the, into the egg drop and it splashed all over the, the equipment. Uh, we had a trip to Romania in order to raise awareness among students about studying abroad and also to promote kids, to tell them about technology and give them an insight into what's the life of the student. The event itself took three days and consisted of two parts. We started with the general presentation, after that followed the heat challenge where the students had to build the zero propulsion vehicle. And then in the second part we had the combination of four high schools where we had the presentation and we also had a demonstration of a Segway robot, it's one of our projects. Uh, the most challenging task was to remotely control the event. For that we needed a student uh, team uh, where we had split tasks like making photography, filming and writing an article. We also had supervisors, the, my connection with the former professors from my high school. 
and we also uh, combine our activities with Integral so that the students can have counseling and follow-up procedures after the event itself. One of the other characteristics is involving the uh, community in a project. I was really motivated to share my knowledge and experience in order to guide students. I also did follow-up sessions and Skype calls in order to monitor the, the progress of the prospective students. From this pro project I gained communication and organization skills.